Hey there, everyone. It's Murray and Ash here with Duncan and Kate and Aaron and Jess. Hey, guys. Hi. And we have some really exciting things to share with you today. And we just want to give you a bit of a backstory. You know, we've been in a, a season of transition at the moment and preparation for what the Lord has for us into the future. And many of you know, Murray and I have been invited to by the Lord to go up to Toronto and become the senior leaders there. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, that's awesome. And so we recognize that, and people have been asking about, okay, well, Murray and Ash, who are going to be your successors here? So we want to share some exciting things about that today, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. It's so good. You know, when uh, John and Carol made uh, you, Duncan and Kate, their successors at the Catch yeah. Fire world level, uh, which was a couple of years ago now. Um, it was, uh, you know, John was really clear that transition takes some time, yeah. succession takes some time, right? Yeah, I mean, he's astonishingly, you know, no, no sooner had he asked us to be his successors and establish that, he says to me privately, and by the way, you need to be looking for your successors yeah. right now. Yeah. I mean, that's shocking, yeah. you know. <laughs> Welcome like, to your what? job. <laughs> you know, your your number one job is finding your replacements. And yeah. of course, he just did such a great job showing yeah. us that, didn't he? Yeah. The reality is that it's often 10 to 15 years in the making yeah. for anyone to be prepared for another role. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, um, that's, that's why we are excited about this news today, because not only is, is it about you, it's about others stepping forward yeah. into yeah. their new role that yeah. Yeah. doesn't happen overnight. Even though many of us didn't quite know what was coming when we got that invitation to, to go to Toronto, the Lord knew, and he has therefore been accelerating what his plans are for the church yeah. here in Raleigh. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and Kate and I have known yeah. in our hearts yeah. who your successors were. Yeah. And we've shared that with you and you've shared an acknowledgement of you would choose, you felt the Lord choosing exactly the same people. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So Aaron and Jess, you've been with us for uh, Aaron, for you, for nine and a half years yeah, on the and team. Years. Uh, and Jess, you were here from before the church plant. Yeah. First member. <laughs> yeah. First member, I'm exactly. the eldest, so. Yeah, yeah. Serving on every team. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and so three years ago, Ash and I felt from the Holy Spirit that we wanted to appoint you, uh, with, along with Jonathan and Hendria, as our senior associate pastors. You know, as we've been you know, praying about it all together, uh, we felt like the Holy Spirit was saying, you know, Aaron and Jess, to invite you guys into that. So how's that journey been for you? Yeah, so <laughs> as they were saying, like, I've been here from the beginning. Obviously, Duncan and Kate are my parents, and they did plant this church. But from the get-go, it was always, we're going to do this as a family. We're going to build this um, God's vision for this house together, and we want to invite you in. And so I've always felt that there was that invitation for me, should I feel like God was calling me in that. And so when Aaron and I got married and you were already serving as the youth pastor, um, I prayed about, should I, like, is this something that I should join in too? Yeah. Um, I graduated from UNC and, you know, there was lots of career paths and opportunities I could take, but I felt like called from, honestly, as long as I can remember that I would be either planting a church, leading a church. I just felt called in church ministry. And I yeah. think you felt the same. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I come from a family of my dad. My parents planted a church, um, started in a park and and then ended up in like multiple buildings and just the whole faith journey as a family and then traveling around the world almost as missionaries. I think one time I kind of joked to you, uh, Duncan, that I felt almost like hopelessly called to ministry <laughs> to, to the church. Hopelessly and gloriously. Hopelessly yeah. and gloriously. <laughs> but, you know, I think the last two years were a little crazy for everyone. Amen. And Amen. I remember this moment when I was at the gym and the Lord said to me so tenderly, he said, Aaron, do you still love my church? And I was like, yes, Lord, I still love your church. And he said, Aaron, do you still love my people? And I said, yes, Lord, I still love your people. I'm like pretty much in tears at the gym. But it was just this reminder, like Aaron and, you know, Jess feels the same way. Like we've been called before time began for this. So we really do feel, feel mm -hmm. called to this. Yeah. And so as the last year has kind of shaken out, you know, we were on our own journey of saying yes to God in our own hearts and yeah. being, is this where we're called? Are we called to go plant a church? Are we called to stay here in Raleigh? And, um, and we just, when, when all of these, um, our leaders, you know, talk to us about, hey, 
you know, what about you guys being the next lead pastors? And we had been talking about that for a couple of years, but it really required us in our own hearts to yeah. go into the secret place with God and say, okay, in the natural, you know, this is a promotion. This is something you should say yes to, mm -hmm. but is that what God's saying for your life and your calling and yeah. the calling of the church as well? So we prayed yeah. and we felt like, yeah, we're supposed to do yeah. this and step into this role. Yeah. And that was for sure, like a journey of faith. Like on, on one hand, it's like, all right, this is happening. This, you know, yeah. we've dreamed about this. We've imagined this, but now like, it's really it's happening. Yeah. Really happening. And like a little sooner than we probably anticipated. Yeah, yeah. We just felt like the last nine and a half years have been just such a time of, of growth and yeah. of yeah. like making our roots go deep yeah. in the Lord. And actually coming from a family that traveled around so much, I remember when I first moved down here, it almost required more faith for the Lord to say stay than go. Yeah. 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 And I was like, because yeah. the, the heart of that young Aaron Adventure. when he first started yeah. on, on the team was like, I want to go, go and do something. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. when the Lord was like, no, you're, you're to yeah. stay. So yeah. we, we really do love this church. Yeah. Yeah. And we've loved all the time we've had here with the youth and the worship mm -hmm. department yeah. and just everything. And we just want to say, like, we honor you all so much as our leaders mm -hmm. that you guys have poured into us just seeing how you guys have poured into us and developed us and prepared us for the next step. You know, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys and without you guys modeling how to steward the presence, how to love God, put him first, how to love yourself and love one another. And we just, we want to say thank you as well yeah. too for yeah, making room welcome. for us. When I think about it, you know, you in your ministry here in Raleigh, have touched many families already. Mm. We are here with you. And I, I think that's what I find it's exciting. Murray and Ash, you're going into yes. your next step, yes. becoming <laughs> senior leaders. You, you know, it, it's the biggest honor for us that yeah. we have been part of God's process in raising you up to yes. take yeah. Yeah. our flagship church. Yeah. But now as another generation to yeah. see that we as a church, we're going to be here still based in Raleigh for the yeah. church, yeah. that we together can yeah. take this church, yeah. catch the fire into Raleigh, into an amazing future. Mm. It's just been an absolute joy for us to work with you as our family, but also as an incredible, fiery, passionate young couple. Ooh. And you guys are so full of the Holy Spirit. And our desire actually, when even before God called us to go to Toronto, was to pour into those who are um, the next generation and for the Lord to raise up someone from within our church family That's to right. be the successors. Really but we yeah. really wanted someone from the local church who has the values and loves the people and yeah. you guys are that. And it has been such a joy and a privilege yeah. for us. And we are excited that you are the Holy Spirit's choice to lead the church. So in preparation for our uh, transition, we've already handed off some of our responsibilities to you yeah. two. And we've been so thrilled at the, the way that you've handled that and just the, the way that the church has been going under your leadership. Thank you. And, uh, and so we will be handing off more uh, responsibility over these next few months mm -hmm. until we move to Toronto in mid-June. Wonderful. Well, this is really exciting. And Murray and Ash will remain the lead pastors until that day when they hand over to Aaron and Jess, which will be a very exciting day before you guys go yep. up to Toronto. So Kate and I are thrilled. Let's pray. Yeah. Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful moment mm. in the history of Catch the Fire, Raleigh, Durham. Yeah. It's your church. Lord, we've always had that strong sense that you promised Jesus that you would build your church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Mm. And so we have we have done our part to do our best to allow you to build your church. Mm. And here you are now leading us on. And we pray that you would fill the church, yes, yes. every Shoot single up, member of Catch the Fire Raleigh, yes, with your Lord. wonderful love, yes. with your glory, yes. with your fire, mm. yes, with your presence. Lord. <laughs> and let your power explode among us yes. as we grow into the future and see this whole region transformed. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on.